Welcome to the Long Box Paradox. This is the first episode. Today we're going to be talking about speculation. What to speculate, how to look for what to speculate, um, mostly focusing on modern books. So where you want to start is be informed. Go to CBSI, Comics Heating Up. There's a bunch of forums like Blowout and the CGC forums. They'll give you a little bit of heads up of what's hot, maybe what you should be picking up. Um, some things to remember, big event, more than likely, going to be over-published, so only buy the covers you want. You might hit every now and again with a big book, with the price. So for definitely like Batman 50, a lot of people got burned on. Um, I personally, Dark Knight 3, I bought way too much and I got burned on it, but I bought what I want, what I liked, but the flip just never happened. So with that in mind, what you're looking for now for the quick flip are DC's B variants, especially the Joshua Middleton's, Matinas, uh, any Delato. So those, within 48 hours, you have a opportunity to make a little bit of scratch. You're not going to make a lot of money, but you'll be able to possibly double up. Now, as for the long-term holds, buy the iconic covers. Um, ones in particular that come to mind were Detective 880 by Jock, which had that Joker cover with the bats making up his face. That book now, it, it took a while to build up, about almost five years, but graded, it's about $800, and raw, about 200 for near mint. So with that in mind, you also have Hughes variants. Um, any kind of first appearance, you're going to want to pick up. Um, some of them can be quick flips, others will be long term. Spider-Gwen, probably to mind, was one of the biggest quick flips, also long specs for Edge of Spider-Verse number two. So with that in mind, be choosy, be informed, stay up on final order cutoff with Diamond because right before cutoff they start adding some of the B variant covers and sometimes shops miss it, sometimes people ordering miss it, so keep up on that. Uh, before release day, start checking out Midtown Comics to see what they're limiting, what's sold out, what's possibly going to second print. From there, you want to really just keep yourself informed. Um, keep up with Diamond Previews if you have the opportunity to pick it up or read it, because sometimes the ratio variants that you might want to invest in that you can go to your local comic shop store and make a deal with the owner where you're going to pay up front and get that variant. So if it's a 1 in 100, you might have to pay them 85 to 100, which secures them if they're going to take a loss possibly on those extra covers that they're going to have to buy of the normal. But also, by doing that, you give them the opportunity to get the 1 in 10s, the 1 in 50s, 1 in 25s that they can usually order as much as they want to so they could flip them on eBay. Um, the other thing, when thinking about the long spec, image number ones, you're never going to really quick flip that fast. So you're wanting to hold those for a bit. Deadly Class was almost a three-year wait and flip. Nailbiter possibly could. Uh, you definitely want to watch out for the stuff getting optioned because sometimes it never makes it to film. So say like Sex Criminals got optioned. Hasn't really gone anywhere in the way of getting made, but there was a week where you could flip number one for close to $100 or more. So just because something's optioned doesn't mean that it's going to be a big money maker, but you definitely have about 48 hours to flip those books and make a profit. And also when buying these books, have a number in mind of, say, if it hits this number after I buy it, then I have to sell it. For me lately, it was Batman Damn number one. At $20, I was on the fence about selling it. Once it started hitting 50 to 70, I had no choice but to sell it because the markup on it was too much to pass up. Um, another thing to watch out for is sometimes you will miss your window of selling. So have in mind or have a Google list everything you buy, list the first appearances so that way if you see something popped you can list it right away because again within 48 hours eBay is flooded and you just have to be careful. So the three rules of specking now, and everybody has their own, there's the quick flippers, which you just want to try and double up your money right away, which I'm not against, but I, I'm more of a long-term spec person. Now, 
the other rule of speculating that a lot of people go by is you take the money from moderns and then flip them for bronze keys or silver age. Silver age are kind of ever gold for the keys. They don't drop or progress that much, but they're ones that people seek out and you kind of want your collection. Now for bronze keys, they're volatile. It, it's like buying stock during the 80s. A crash could happen, it might not. Um, right now with Marvel buying Fox, now all those FF and X-Men could be gold again, especially FF I don't think was mined enough for keys in there for any movie that comes out. New Mutants and X-Men, there, there's still stuff that hasn't been touched. Um, definitely there's Kitty Pride stories. Uh, Psylocke, we haven't seen a good interpretation of in the movies. There's just so much X-Men to mine through. Even Avengers, there still hasn't, they haven't even touched the hem. So you want to look for key first appearances. Uh, like say a book like She-Hulk number one. That right now, graded 9.8, is around 300 to $400. So it's a book that you wouldn't think of being worth a lot, but it's worth pick up. Batman, any key for Batman if you can pick it up at a good price. Uh, the big decision you have to make is, will you slab, or is the key worth you buying it already graded? A lot of people, especially for Silver, Silver Age, will try to buy them cheap at shows, raw, and then have them pressed and try and get the highest grade. Um, usually for the Silver Age keys, I'd just rather pay out the money for the slabs, plus I don't have enough of the resources to go out and buy them raw that I would trust them. Um, also, if you're buying raw, certain Bronze Age. Daredevil first appearance of Elektra is also infamous for the Mark Jewelers coupons. Definitely if you're gonna buy something around that time check for the Mark Jewelers coupons because that will knock your grade down a ton. Um, and also for the most part ev even if you are specking just buy what you like. If you see an iconic cover that just tickles your fancy get it but in your head just know I might want to sell this at some time and make a little bit of cash off of it. Anyway, I just wanted to do this quick video on specking and talk about it a little bit because I had a friend ask me what I do to get into it. Um, this being the first episode of The Long Box Paradox, which will be my comic book show, I will be having a co-host soon, so we'll be actually talking and reviewing comics and the state of the industry. Anyway, this is my intro and this is my first appearance, and I just want to thank you for viewing. Good night.